We've been getting a lot of questions about lift boats. What are they? What do they look like? And what exactly do they do? Paul Dudley explains. Lift boats transform into offshore platforms, and in the Gulf, there are lots of these boats as they help support the oil and gas industry. According to Secor's website, the 129-foot vessel can work in depths up to 195 feet and has two cranes with 120-foot booms on each. They're mainly used for their cranes. It's the big part of what they do offshore. Lifting personnel, lifting goods, lifting offshore equipment onto rigs. The boats become a platform by dropping three legs down into the seafloor, and those legs keep the platform steady while crews work. As those legs reach the seafloor, the platform of the vessel begins to rise, and so those vessels can be stationary and do work offshore. This picture here of the Seacor Power after it capsized shows one of the legs out in the air. Normally, the vessel looks like this when it has its legs extended and is stabilized. And what happens is the, 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 the vessel sails out to the work site with the legs up in the air and then lowers the legs who sit on the, the bottom of the ocean. The, the very striking image that you saw today um, of that thing sticking out of the water, that's one of the legs. It looks like this vessel was on its way to a platform about 40 miles from Venice. It only made it seven miles and clearly did not have time to stabilize before tipping over. I'm Paul Dudley reporting Eyewitness News. Back to you.